Hey guys, it's Metavi, Crypto Fights game mechanics based on Dungeons and Dragons T he classic crooked of DND with a modern twist Crypto Fights META. Include what skills path you take developing your fighter and what art you bring into a battle along with the equipment you choose. There are counters to everything in Crypto Fights so you will need to use deep strategy, critical logic, and weigh probabilities in real era, roll dice to see if you hit your opponent and for how much evil. Change your strategy to increase your chances by picking the right weapons and armor. Turn the stream by using the true skill at the upright moment, initiative roll the first to vote is decided with a dice in wrap for initiative. Certain species have bonuses added to this roll to give them a better chance of going first attack roll the player rolls dice to attack. If the result of the dice is high enough, they can hit the antagonist, damage roll if there is a successful hit then other dice are rolled to determine how much mischief to inflict full audit trail to ensure safe play brought to you by learn more fair and transparent see what is really happening with the game rules and mechanics, including why a player wins or loses down to the transactional level. Stored for either all past games are chronicles forever and can be replayed at any time in the futurition. Think of it as a never-ending opportunity capsule, easily accessible all passable live lame data can be broadcasted to game clients to render out live games on any device. Own your items players can now own all their items instead of the game developer. This unlocks a new economy for purchase, selling, and trading your behavior. If you level the 7, you won't be able to get any more experience for beating the war chief. The only way who can level up will be the PvP arena, which costs a little money. Isn't always easy for beginners with no gear. I can go into PvP at another time, but for this video, I just want to help you level up. You won't be able to get into the next dungeon and to level 9. What we're going to do is spam the war chief until you have enough experience to go from 6 to 9. And make sure after each time you beat him, hit continue but don't level up. Go back to the world map and keep spamming the war. Chief you'll need to beat him 23 times before you get a total of 15,000 experience points, which is what you need to skip to level 9. Once you get 15,000 experience level up 3 times, keep increasing your strength and at level 8, pick up improve power attack, which just makes it do more damage. I level 9, you can enter the snow mountain. You can fight any of the bosses there, but only the Ice Troll and Aqua will ever give you experience points. Both of these are a little tough, but I decided to spam the Ice Troll to get to level 10. It should be noted that once you do get to level 10, you'll have a 5 minute boss cooldown per boss. Before you can fight them again. Tip here, if you don't care about experience and you just want to farm gear, I would stay at level 9 and farm the Frost, Blood Ord. All three bosses in the snow mountain have the same loot and they all give you a 2% chance that a rare item after you get a bunch of gear, you can go to the FYEX gaming website and go under my NFTs to melt your gear for money. Just make sure you don't miss any of your good items. You can spend money on the game if you want, or you can keep farming here so you can get more into PvP and save up and go shopping at the NFT marketplace. Crypto fights game mechanics based on Dungeons and Dragons T he classic crooked of DND with a modern twist crypto fights META. Include what skills path you take developing your fighter and what art you bring into a battle along with the equipment you choose. There are counters to everything in crypto fights so you will need to use deep strategy, critical logic, and weigh probabilities in real era, roll dice to see if you hit your opponent and for how much evil. Change your strategy to increase your chances by picking the right weapons and armor. Turn the stream by using the true skill at the upright moment, initiative roll the first to vote is decided with a dice in wrap for initiative. Certain species have bonuses added to this roll to give them a better chance of going first attack roll the player rolls dice to attack. If the result of the dice is high enough, they can hit the antagonist, damage roll if there is a successful hit then other dice are rolled to determine how much mischief to inflict full audit trail to ensure safe play brought to you by learn more fair and transparent see what is really happening with the game rules and mechanics, including why a player wins or loses down to the transactional level. 
Stored for EVRL past games are chronicles forever and can be replayed at any time in the future issue. Think of it as a never-ending opportunity capsule, easily accessible all passable live lame data can be broadcasted to game clients to render out live games on any device. Own your items players can now own all their items instead of the game developer. This unlocks a new economy for purchase, selling, and trading your behavior. Their glossary explains in-game terms and also helps you better understand the moves and weapons available in crypto fights. Ability scores, ability scores are broken down into three categories, strength, dexterity, and intelligence. How you develop each ability score will play out differently with the three crypto fights fighter races, humans, elves, and dwarves. Your development of ability scores also determines which weapons and actions you'll have an advantage with during battle. Action, you can take four actions with you when you go into battle. The three main actions all fighters start out with are attack, hide and focus. Each time you level up, you get to unlock an action based on your fighter's level. Some actions can only be used with certain weapons, while others require you to be under a specific status effect, for example, the action, sneak attack, requires you to be hidden to use it. Attack, attack is one of the start actions. All fighters can use it. Many actions derive from the attack action, like the power attack or sneak attack. Attack roll, the fighter must perform an attack roll using d20, 20-sided die, to determine if they can hit the opponent. If the result of the dice is high enough, they can inflict damage via a hit. If the result of the d20 attack roll is 20, the fighter performs a critical hit. Aurora, the fierce, each time you unlock a new battleground, she's there to tell you more about it. They call her Aurora the fierce because she has shown exceptional skills and has proven herself to be just as strong as the male fighters. She was taught by Bram the Brave and is one of his best students. Base damage type, slashing, piercing and bludgeoning are the three main base damage types, also known as mundane damage types. Short swords, great swords and battle axes inflict slashing damage, bows, daggers and pistols inflict piercing damage, mauls, maces, quarterstaffs and a fighter's bare fists inflict bludgeoning damage. Battle axe, battle axes have a base damage type of bludgeoning and can be common, uncommon, rare, legendary or epic. A battle axe's attack property is brutal assault and its variant property is heavy. Bludgeoning, bludgeoning is one of 10 different damage types in crypto fights. If you use bludgeoning weapons, this means you're using weapons such as mauls and quarterstaffs. Bludgeoning attacks are effective and delivered by strong fighters. Bow, a weapon with a base damage type of piercing that allows you to attack your target from a distance. Its attack property is dexterous precision and variant property is heavy. Bran the Brave, your wise, seasoned mentor in the world of crypto fights is Bran the Brave. He'll walk you through basic gameplay strategy and mechanics which will help you understand how to succeed and achieve victory on the battlefield. Caravan, the caravan is where you can customize your fighter before a match, switch between fighters and check each of your fighters detailed stats. You can do things like swap out weapons and actions and create new fighters. Cash prizes, every battle your fight gives you the chance to win real cash prizes. It's your reward for being a great fighter. Cash prize amounts vary depending on the level you're fighting at and if you're competing in a tournament. Cold, while this magical elemental damage type doesn't do as much damage as fire, it reduces your opponent's ability to escape future attacks. Slowing down your opponents also helps you make up a bit for any speed you might be lacking. Critical bonus rolls, if a fighter scores a critical hit on their attack roll, the outcome of two extra dice and a coin roll are added to the damage roll. D20, D6, D8, dice notation, a D20 is a 20-sided dice. Two D6 are two six-sided dice. Dagger. A small bladed weapon especially effective in the hands of a fighter with high dexterity. Its lightweight design makes it easy for quick, deadly attacks. Damage types, 
there are 10 damage types, warfare, slashing, bludgeoning, fire, piercing, lightning, poison, cold, mystic, necrotic. Weapons and skills have different damage types. Armors and skills provide resistance for specific damage types. Some fighter builds are more likely to rely on certain damage types. Damage roll, if the result of the attack roll is not a miss, then a damage roll is performed. Different weapons, skills and even fighter traits can affect the amount and type of dice being used in the damage roll. Dexterity, the measurement of agility, balance, and reflexes are within the scope of dexterity. These abilities determine initiative, evasion, critical change. Without developing dexterity, you can't use dexterous and precision weapons like bows and crossbows very well. Demetrius of the Alliance, keeps record of all the fights that have ever happened and notes down everything. Stands in front of the Hall of Fighters, explains how match replay works, how each battle is listed here and can be replayed, explains how to access the combat log archive and how to export a share link for a match. He is a part of the alliance that has been gathered to make sure all matches are played according to the rules and that essence is not being used in unfair or malicious ways. Dwarves, dwarves naturally have higher levels of strength. Dwarves are tough to beat due to their muscle, physical power, and health. Strength allows them to wield brutal and assault weapons like mauls and greatswords. Dwarves receive plus two to all resistances. Dual wielding, a fighter dual wields when using one weapon on each hand. Dual wielding means two distinct attacks are processed per attack action. First, the main hand is processed, followed by the off hand. Unless stated otherwise when you use a weapon on the off hand, it does not receive attack and damage modifiers bonuses. Elves, elves tend to have greater agility, reflexes, and balance due to their naturally higher levels of dexterity. Evasion Lucas.